Do you like anime? Do you like Japanese inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15%. Off your entire order at imori.com. What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi, and um, back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? All right, everybody. We got for the very first time in quite some time a reaction for Power Rangers Beast Morphers, the official trailer that features the returning Austin St. John reprising his role as Jason Lee Scott, AKA my man with the Tyrannosaurus. But as you can tell, I'm very excited about this and I'm very excited for him to reprise his role for the first time officially in the Power Rangers universe because he has been absent for many, many, many years. The last time we saw him was in Forever Red and that was like the 10th anniversary of Power Rangers. And this, I want to say, is the 26th or 27th season because you never know with Nickelodeon because every freaking one show they have is two seasons for no freaking reason with all these hiatuses. But with all of my gripes aside, why don't we just get... like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Well, those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14-day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many, many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. Okay. I, I didn't know he left. Pretending to be the Red Ranger's father. It's the key to everything. <laughs> okay. An the enemy with Rangers will escape destruction today. Oh. They got upgrades? We're brand spanking new. Oh. Okay. Steel was right. He walks his back. Rangers, we have to be ready for anything. Wow, they're making this really epic, huh? I, I knew the Morphin Time was coming, but like... Yeah. Didn't they get Beast X last season? Ooh, okay. All new Megazords. And the ultimate team up. Oh, yeah! Damn. Has been working on a top secret project. What is it? Is this thing on? Oh, red light. Okay, kids, shut your stuff. What the hell? <sighs> Season two, yeah. Coming in 2021. They're teasing Ryu Soldier in this in this trailer. Unbelievable. I still can't get over this. Mm, mm, mm. Season 28. No name, no nothing. Okay, guys, let's talk about this. So, obviously, what we wanted to see was Jason. We wanted to see more action. We got the little pose with him in the morpher. Well, that was pretty dope. I'm going to try and find it right now. From uh, what we can tell, out of whom they were able to get, as far as actors go, they were able to get uh, the Siddhartha brothers, naturally. That makes sense. I don't recognize that other dude, but he looks like he's the Dino Charge Black Ranger next to my man, Dino Charge Blue. And then they got Coda, Dino Charge Red. But they were not able to get my man that played Dino Thunder Red, which I don't remember his name, but I'm sorry about that. But like, obviously right now we're talking about Jason. We're talking about Austin St. John. And clearly he's gonna be the centerpiece of this episode or multi-part episode, wherever the hell it actually is. For those that don't know, this 
episode or whatever it is that they're doing, they're taking the footage from the Kyoryuger cross Goldbuster cross... It's like the ultimate dinosaur team. It's a movie. Boom. So this is going to be the epic moment that all of us are going to be tuning into Nickelodeon that we've been waiting for for quite some time now. And... The trailer itself was whatever. You saw how I reacted. There really was no reaction. I got happy when I saw my mans on the screen. Other than that, I will not lie to you guys. Beast Morphers hasn't been the best season. I'm not gonna sit here and shit on it all that much because I'm sure there's going to be some of you out there that like it. That's the truth. Especially if you are youngin' and you don't know any better, clearly you're gonna be into it. I will say that a lot of the older series like, the, the things that they're putting on Nickelodeon just don't don't match up to it. As far as storyline, characters, relatability, like, a lot of stuff, it just, it just feels very off when you watch. And I know I don't think it's because I'm getting older. I'm already older. Like, that's, that's a given. But I've been a fan of the Power Rangers since I was very young. And as... A 26 year old, I can literally go back to watch any of the really good ones. Go watch Space, go watch Lost Galaxy, go watch Lightspeed Rescue, go watch Time Force, go watch SPD. Like they, they they had amazing stories. All the characters was dope. They had every every bit of originality, even if they did take like a lot from the original Sentai version, they still made it very, very good. But now like with the, with these seasons, they just it, just, it just feels like a lot of fluff. And the actors, like the way they like, they make up these actors nowadays, like they just look like they try to make them look as close to like a, a like a toy that they can though. Either way, this isn't even, this was not even supposed to be a rant. I'm sorry about that right now, but I just had to voice my actual opinion. Season two, that just goes along with the flawed method of how they're handling Power Ranger seasons, separating them into four divided parts where it's like unnecessary hiatuses to then come back, to then take another hiatus, to now introduce season two. Like there's no need for that. Like just go back to the 45 to 50 episode format where it just lasts all year round and be done. And then next next year is a new team. That's how it should be. That's how it still is in Japan. And that's how it used to be over here. But it ain't like that. Now, as far as the next season, the Ryu soldiers. Now guys, I will have you know right now, this is a team. This is the latest Sentai. I'm not counting Kira Major because Kira Major is literally about to start, right? But Zuden Sentai Ryu Soldier, okay, is literally the latest series in Japan. Normally, we're like a season or two behind what Japan has. And now, they, first of all, let's, let's, let me just put it into perspective. They skipped three seasons worth of Super Sentai that they had to work with. But do you want to know why they're going to Ryu Soldier? It's because it's another dinosaur team. And you want to know why they're going with another dinosaur team? Because to them, dinosaurs sell. And naturally, the only good thing I see about this rushed, like, the, like the, the fact, I feel like it's rushed. I feel like they're rushing it. But the reason why is because because it's Dinosaur Team, that just means that they could literally use, utilize nostalgia at an all-time high. They can just quickly get fans like myself, fans that remember the originals, fans that want to see the originals, and it's just another excuse for them to bring in those actors. And let's be honest, I'm all for it. But at the same time, we're taking a huge loss by not getting Zooger, by not getting Q Ranger, by not getting Lupin Ranger versus like, dude, those seasons were amazing, especially the last two I just named. So we get you Ryu Soldier. Ryu Soldier literally just basically ended in Japan. And it's very rare for us to get something like that so soon. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the reason that I stated being that dinosaurs are popular enough that they sell, it's relatable to the original, and the fact that nostalgia also is a big selling point. This gives us all of the reason for them to bring in the original actors to possibly have originally done crossovers that not even the Japanese version got. Because look, I'm all for the original stuff. I don't mind if you are adapting the original story of any of the shows as long as it's produced well and the characters have character and it doesn't it doesn't seem forced and like the acting is just like so exaggeratedly bad like I, I like you know what i'm trying to say i hope you do it's just like all in all it's just not the same but again like 
They're bringing in the dinosaur team so quick. Like, people was complaining in Japan about how Ryu Soldier felt like it was mad quick for them to do another dino team when a few seasons ago they had they had Kyoto Yujir. And Kyoto Yujir happened right after Go Buster. And after Kyoto Yujir, I think, was... if I, if I have to remember this correctly now. After Kyoto Yujir was Tokyo After Tokyo was Ninja. And then after Ninja was Yuoger. And then Q Ranger, and then Success. so then Ryu Soldier. So like, it was at least three behind. They're already going back to dinosaur teams. So even Japan knows dino sell, or they at least think that way. As far as the sales and toys, and like how well the the dinosaur line of merchandise went in Japan in comparison to like the other series, how that how they performed, I don't know that information. I'm not gonna make stuff up for you guys, but I'm going to tell you what actually is real and what I'm what my like my thoughts are on all of this right but yeah that's the trailer and that's our little glimpse at the Ryu soldier team don't know what the hell they're gonna call this team because they're not gonna they're not gonna do mighty Morphin like mighty dino whatever they've already done dino thunder they've done dino charge and Ryu soldier in comparison to Kyoto Yuger, they were so similar like they were so similar like what are they gonna call this? Power Rangers Dino Lightning? Wow! Power Rangers Dino Sparks? Power Rangers Dino Tribe? Like, they're all about the tribal stuff or whatever from, you know, like, if they're gonna pick up anything from the, from how it was originally, like, this team, they go way back from, like, the Dino period and, like, the tribe was just always just chilling and now they're here, like... We'll have to see what happens, guys. But as always, leave a comment in the description below. Are you excited for season two of Beast Morphers? And are you excited for this newly announced Ryu Soldier adaptation for Power Rangers in 2021? It's been your boy, Ooch. Keep it locked loaded right here on the main channel. And as always, take care of yourselves. May the power protect you, as always. I'll see you guys next.